How trustworthy is the tackerful industry in dealing with conflicting issues in the industry now? We talk to industry experts converging at the World Tackerful Conference right here in Kuala Lumpur to find out more. Yes, I think uh, the issue is not about not trusting. The issue is about do not understanding the product, uh, the concept. You know? If people understand that Takaful is all about a third party managing your money for your own interest uh, compared to insurance where you pay for something and that money belongs to the insurance company, yeah, then you will see there is greater value in Takaful because whatever you give to the insurance, uh, to the Takaful company still belongs to you. Yeah? Compared to insurance, whatever you give to the insurance company belongs to the insurance company. Yeah? So if people understand that, yeah? so the issue is not about trust. The issue is about understanding of Takaful and, and uh, how do we make people understand. If we can make people understand the basic differences, then I think Takaful can go to the next level. I think, the, let's ask the question another way. What's the value proposition of Takaful and how do the agents and the people involved in selling articulate that value proposition? In other words, what does Takaful really represent in terms of values? So first thing is that the Kaful is about transparency. Now when we talk about transparency, transparency of what? The transparency of terms, conditions, the charging structure, and what are the benefits to the consumer when they buy a particular product or a solution in the Kaful. So that's number one. Number two, it's about surplus risk sharing. At the end of the day, the Kaful is based on principles of mutuality and has some similarities with cooperative insurance. They're not identical. The Kaful is different in other respects, but it is about that. The way the monies are invested in the Kaful are somewhat similar to what is called in the United States and Europe, which is socially responsible investing, SRI. So I think that if the value proposition of the Kaful is well defined and communicated to the consumers, then I think trust is built up. In other words, if the consumer has certain expectations and is buying a product for a certain need, and if that need is fulfilled, and they are satisfied with the solution at an economic price, then I think you will have the, 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 the trust and integrity of the Kaful building up and thereby spreading beyond the Muslim community to other groups. But that is what's important. There are various issues, uh, first of all, as I mentioned before, and growth, especially on the general side, which is PNC. The, the share of Takaful compared to conventional is still very small. It is better on the family side, which is life and health, where especially in Malaysia and also Indonesia, Takaful has made a lot of inroads. The other question is how can Takaful grow in other markets besides of Southeast Asia and the Middle East, such as Africa and even Europe. And another issue which I, is profitability. So the customers expect the same uh, price as for the conventional cover. However, often uh, Takaful is a different concept, so it's difficult to make the same profit. So there is this uh, challenge for the operator on one side to offer something which is similar to conventional insurance and at the same time make the same profits. And this seems to be very difficult. Having tackled the issues in the Takaful industries, what next is for market players to grab clear and present opportunities in what in the industry that is fast becoming a catalyst in the Islamic economy. Deepa Plani for Emlyn TV.